Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to fix errors with dates in Power Query. And we're going to look at four different ways to do this, including using the locale and regional settings and even a custom column. So here I'm in the Power Query editor and I have some data loaded in here. I have this date column and we can see the data type is currently text. Now if I try and change this to a date data type, we're going to get some errors here. And that's because the data form or the date format here is in a different format than my local regional settings. So I'm in the US and we use the format of month, day, year. And if we uh, undo this or just delete that change step, we can see that these dates are in the day month year format so not month day year but day month year which is basically what the rest of the world uses outside of the United States so there's a few different ways to fix this the first way is using the locale settings in the data type menu so again if we go here uh, to our data type drop down we can choose this option that says using locale. So I'm going to click that. It'll take a second for this menu to uh, pop up here. And we'll get this change type with locale. And here we can choose data type. We're going to, of course, choose a date. And then for the locale, we can choose uh, the locale or location that this data type is from. So I'm going to scroll down here. Sorry if that's a little bit off your screen, but I'm just going to go to the English section. And I'm currently in the United States. So again, if I click this here, we can see a sample of what our uh, date format looks like, month, day, year. And we don't want that because, again, those dates are not in that format. So we can choose a locale that is in that format. Uh, United Kingdom is one. Uh, Australia, and again, just about every other uh, location outside of the United States. If we click this, we can see that that date format is day, month, year. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And then that will change the uh, data type to that date format. And we can see that the dates have been formatted correctly and there are no errors. So next we'll look at how to solve this using the locale in the regional settings. So let's say we have multiple queries in this uh, workbook here or in this file and they all suffer from that same problem of having the date in a different format than our local regional settings. In this case, we might want to change a global setting for this file. So what we can do is go to the file menu here within the query editor and under options and settings, we're going to choose query options. And that'll take a second, bring up the query options window. And here within regional settings, uh, we can change the locale for the entire file. And if you hover over the little information icon here, it says exactly that. Locale determines the regional settings used to interpret numbers, dates, and time in imported text for this file. So that's important there, it's for this entire file. So any queries in this file. So here again, the default is uh, United States because I'm in the United States and we can just change that quickly to United Kingdom, hit OK. And then now when we apply any kind of date data type here, so for this uh, file here, I'm sorry, this query, I can just change this to a date and that's, oh, we'll add a new step here. And then that will change that to the date data type using that UK format. So that really just saves a step from having to go into that using locale menu on each query. The other advantage here is that uh, when we create new queries and we automatically detect data types, when you get this changed type step that automatically detects data types, uh, Power Query will figure out and use that regional setting that you just applied. So this will automatically detect that data type going forward and you won't even have to change that uh, to a date data type. And one thing I forgot to mention is that this locale setting under query options is saved with the file. So if you send or share this file to another user that's in a different part of the world, they will still have this locale setting applied when they make any transformations in this file. So next we'll take a look at changing the regional settings on the operating system. So we just looked at the query options in this locale here. And for me, that was English United States because I'm in the United States. Now this is determined by the locale or the regional settings on your operating system in Windows. And we can change that as well. Now the only time you'd really wanna do this is if you were 
always using files or working with files from a different location. So for example, maybe you are in the United States, but the parent company you work for is headquartered in the UK, and they're always you're always working with data files that have that UK date format. In that case, you might want to change your locale on Windows and the operating system. And you can do that by just going to the Start menu and start typing the word Regional. And here you'll see the, uh, you get a match for the set regional format. We'll go ahead and click that. That'll open up the settings and take us into this region tab here. And regional format right here is currently set to English United States. And of course you can change that here. So if I was to change that to United Kingdom, uh, that'll tell us that some apps may need to be closed and reopened uh, to see the formatting changes, including Excel. You'll probably want to uh, completely close down Excel and then reopen it. Uh, but when you do that, you can go ahead and close this menu. Uh, when you do that, then when you come back into Excel, of course, you go File, uh, Options and Settings, Query Options and then into the uh, regional settings here, you can see that my locale is now English United Kingdom, and I won't have any of those issues if all of the data files and sources that I'm working with have that UK-based date format. And this will also change the date formatting, the uh, default date formatting within Excel as well. So any cells that contain dates in Excel, you'll see the default date format to that uh, UK-based or uh, day, month, year format. And finally, we'll look at how to use a custom formula and the column from examples feature in Power Query to convert dates. So let's say you're trying to do this and you're still getting errors. So here I have a date with a really weird format. And if I uh, try and choose date here to convert it, I'm just getting errors. So I'm gonna uh, remove that step first of all. And that's because this is just in a format that Power Query doesn't like. I have two dashes here between the month and the year. So another option we have is to use a column from examples. It's on the add column tab. And here we have column from examples, kind of a magical feature of Power Query, I think. And I'm gonna hit the drop down here and just choose from selection because I already have this order date column selected. We're going to choose from selection. And as you can see here, this adds this add column from examples uh, menu here. We have the order date column selected. And then over here we have column one. And what we can do is double click in this column and then just type what the date should be. So again, uh, I have the regional settings set to UK. So we wanna do uh, day, month, year. So we say 25 slash 11 slash 2018. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Then I'll do that again for the next row. So just double click into there. This is gonna be 29 uh, slash five slash 2018, hit enter. As you can see, Power Query is starting to try and recognize a pattern here. It hasn't totally figured it out yet because we have a weird dot right here. If I double click into this cell, I'll do the same thing, seven slash five slash 2018 and hit enter. Now it's figured it out. Now we can see that all the cells here uh, are matching what the date should be. So it's doing some pattern recognition there. And really what it's doing is it's creating the formula we need uh, for us. You can see a preview of that formula right up here. So it's got some uh, split text by delimiter functions here and doing quite a bit of work. And this would take quite a bit of typing on our own, but we can just use uh, this magical column from examples feature to do all that work for us. So once we see that the, the dates are correct, we'll go ahead and hit OK, and that will add that custom column there to the end. And at this point here, we can change the data type to a date. We'll see everything looks good there. We have these dates here, and we could even go back now and delete or remove our original order date column. If we don't need that, if that's not uh, used in any of our pivot tables or anything like that, uh, we could actually right click remove this. That's absolutely fine. And then uh, rename our custom column. We can now call this order date or date or whatever we wanna call it hit enter and this is our new order date column with a date format. So that's four different ways to fix errors with dates in Power Query. I hope this has helped you. Of course, please leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.